by Chavez case. He is the second officer, Chavez is the other, to be kicked off the force in connection with the murder investigation of Levi's wife, Tara. And that is not the end of it. News 13's Nancy Laughlin joins us live from APD headquarters. Nancy. Dick, that's right. Along with Perea's firing today, the department also announced that it suspended another officer in connection with this case. Now, Perea joined the department about the same time that Levi Chavez did back in 2007. They were working together six months later around the time Tara's body was found at the couple's Valencia County home. Now, Levi claims that Tara shot herself but he was later charged with her murder and fired from APD. A civil lawsuit filed by Tara's family says Perea was not truthful about what he and Levi Chavez were doing during the period that Tara was believed to have been killed. Because this is an internal affairs investigation, APD will not disclose specifics about Perea's firing, but Perea's attorney says he's a scapegoat. Russell Perea uh, is absolutely has been wrongfully terminated. He, he doesn't know anything about this investigation. He was asked a few questions and now they're saying he's lying and it's, it's not even clear what they're saying he's lying about. It's really ridiculous. Okay, Pere is appealing to get his job back. An attorney for Tara's family says they are not surprised that he was fired. Another officer, Nick Wheeler, was suspended today. In the civil suit, it says that Tara Chavez and Nick Wheeler were having an affair. APD, though, would not comment about that. Back to you. All right, Nancy, there's still an internal affairs investigation going on into the truck that was once owned by Levi Chavez. Tara's family believes that she was murdered because she threatened to report that Levi and his APD buddies staged the truck's theft in order to collect insurance money.